I, if I was picking, I would say I prefer Fam's draft uh, with Canada and uh, with Persia. I, I like them a lot. Eight counts, going to restart game. He had air loading in. Never mind, all good. Okay. So, here we go. This is the map. It looks an awful lot like Australia. It actually, I mean, it's tilted and not quite perfect, but it actually does look a quite a bit like Australia, if we're being honest. Uh, we have Congo here in the middle. They're going to have a lot of hills. They're going to like their life. They may consider jumping on this hill to get a 2-2 center. Hard to say. Uh, what else do we have here? Up here, city-states are kind of cut right through the middle. Rome has settled on a 2-1. Surrounded by two twos. They're going to like that. They're going to also like their uh, strategic situation. Although their horses are in third ring. Which isn't always the greatest. Over here, Cree. So that's going to be interesting. Because Rome and Cree are on opposite sides. Um, oh, I have the access now. Uh, Rome and Cree. This is going to be quite the battle here. Does Cree have any neighbors of his own? Uh, England, yes. That is going to be... Uh, oh, no, wait, sorry. Oh, no, sorry, I'm bad. Cree, oh, Cree is on... So that's not bad, actually. My bad. Cree, these guys are going to be great trading partners. And they're going to be able to pressure England, who is on a coast by themselves. So England's going to be along this coast, but they don't have any help. This is also very nice looking as well. But they don't have any help on the land. They don't have any buffer. It's um, it's going to be the it's Cree and Rome even can even help push and they're just going to be able to it kind of irrel England on the coast before they get a chance to sim if they do it right. Uh, who else do we got down here in Canada? Pretty good tundra for a Pangea. They have a pretty good tundra. Uh, they're going to be disappointed. Oh no, no, forget it. That's again same team. A uh, nice wonder here. So they're going to have. They have a military sieve. Is that... Okay, that's Congo. So Congo could potentially give pressure here. But they have a military sieve that can protect them while they sim out in all of this. Uh, they have a wonder to their east and a wonder to their west. Uh, out of curiosity. Okay, I just... I haven't had any music. Does the music not play? It seems so quiet. Uh, spelling error, yes, just in time. Here we go. Oh, by the way, uh, I was going to do real quick. Um, do, 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 do. In here. I just want to do this really quickly before I forget. Uh, I don't see OBS in the game. Do players not see OBS normally? OBS? What OBS? What? Oh! Why am I... Oh. That's weird. Hey, South Rex, your game's over. Who won? Welcome in, everybody. Pepper, my brother, good to see you. Unsalted Saltine, good to see you. Um, Falcon, is good to see you. I don't know. Who do you like to go by? You like it was Falcon or South Rex? South Rex on Twitch, but Falcon in the uh, CPL world? 
Uh, Indonesia. Ooh, they're gonna they're gonna really enjoy uh, the um, fishing boat pantheon. Holy cow! God of the sea. There, God of the sea here. Either is fine. <laughs> Three guys beat four guys apparently. Oh wait, wait, wait a minute. CPL yes yeah okay so. so Three, the, so was it three guys from the beginning? Like, was it three versus four from the beginning? Sun Tzu one. Um, eh, it's pretty good. Two twos. The well, only the one deer. Oh, there's another deer here. So that's pretty good if you get the 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 camp pantheon. That's not bad. But there's not a lot of other stuff. So kind of a mediocre. Uh, to be honest with you, a mediocre Canada spawn. A lot of wasted tiles in the mountains. Should be interesting. Rome died. Oh, Rome died. Turn fifty-five. Okay. Yeah, that's not uh, that's not how you want to play a game. Dying turn fifty. Uh, and here we have an interesting setup. So we got England on the coast, but they have uh, unfriendly uh, neighbors to the north. Here we have Cree and Rome, who seem to have a fair amount of space, if you ask me. It should be a they got they got a wall of mountains and city states here. Rome should be able to free sim, Cree should be able to free sim, and then they should be able to pressure uh, London over here and England, all of England, I guess. Um, interesting coastal. There's no access, so the um, the naval sids are not going to have access to one another. Um, will be very interesting because Congo will be will be trying to cut off the expansion of Indonesia here. Indonesia will have a fair amount of coast down here, but it's pretty crappy land. That's a lot of flat tiles there. We're turn five. Let's see what everybody's doing. Uh, we've gone... Uh... Did they go? They went builder first. Okay, they've gone builder first. They're going to go animal husbandry, get their camps up, which will be good for them. Uh, they've gone scout, scout, settler in here. Scout, scout, and no settler yet. So that's a really fast. What are they working for tiles? Oh, they might have bought an extra one. Did they? They might have bought them an extra one. Working a bunch of gold. Because I don't know how he would have got scouts out and still be into a settler already. That doesn't seem right. Uh, monument play. Uh, that's unusual. I'm not sure what that's all about. <clears throat> oh, I'm also uh, clicked on the wrong thing. I'm like, why is chat way over on the right? Yeah, Guitar John Inner Sea is a bit sad for sure. Um, they've gone Scout Builder, so they're going to get fishing boats up here, I'd imagine. Interesting play there. Uh, scout Scout into Settler. Uh, no no surprise here with a couple of uh, special scouts. They've actually purchased a third Scout in here. So I believe that's probably game plan for uh, Team GG to get um, a third one going. If they can ever find a neighbor, those guys will beat up on uh, and harass uh, England quite well. Uh, one scout and a settler, they're gonna quickly find out how much they love their life uh, for land, and he's gonna wanna spam settlers. And uh, you can see, of course, the common play. Cree knows how close their neighbor is. They're gonna run their warrior towards them, start that trade route going very soon, coming out of uh, pottery. That'll work well, obviously. Uh, looks like they've bought a scout here. They went scout settler and bought them a scout. Um, they are by them. Wait, no, they're no, they're on the same team. Yeah, sorry, it takes a minute to get used to it. Yeah, okay. So these three are together. It's almost it is turn eight. So there could be a vote. Uh, is there not scrap votes? Or sorry, remap.
Yeah, just because it was, I was getting scared because it was like, it was like three seconds left. So I was just like, I just wanted to make sure they knew. I would not be surprised. I would not be surprised if they both liked it, to be honest with you. Um, they probably don't like England by themselves, but they can protect Canada on this left coast here. And um, so they feel probably good about it. And then they probably like Cree and Rome probably like the way that they're isolated as well. Yeah, looks like they're going okay. Um, settler out. They're going to another settler. I like that. Did they get... Yeah, they got the builder. So scout builder settler into another settler. Um, scout builder there. They're going to really be hoping, like she, unless, unless somebody found a goodie hut with a, oh, actually the great works isn't open yet. So nobody's found a, a, um, a relic. So I don't really see the chances of anybody getting the first Pantheon other than them. So that's fishing boat Pantheon. Bye, 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 uh, it's drop. Thank you very much. It's drop Des. Thank you very much. Oh, it's dropping. It's dropping. Hey, Torture, what's up? Was it a settler buy? It might have. Yeah, it would, have, it would have had to have been, right? 10 or 10. They went builder. Yeah, they would have had to have been a settler buy. Yeah, very good point, Torture. Yeah. Uh, you can see them getting their deer online. Getting a mine up. Extra, of course, production on mines. Uh, they've gone back-to-back -back settlers there. Two turns on their settler. Rome's gone back-to-back -back settlers, as to be expected. Uh, here comes the trader. They've already made contact uh, and added this up, so they're going to have their trade routes going. Uh, flooding the tiles out here, getting some nice-looking tiles down here already. And looks like the crease or the England scout's been found. Oh, maybe. Oh, this scout might have got hit by the flood because this guy's not even injured. Yeah, he's toast. He's toast. He's going to chase him down, I would imagine. They're going to find them. They're going to need to protect that settler. They don't see this yet. Looks like they're going south anyway. Warrior down there. Yeah. There it is already. God of the Sea. They'll buy that tile. They'll be working all kinds. They got one, two, three, four, five sea resources in their capital with God of the Sea. That's going to be very, very strong. Uh, the early carry for them. Uh, Indonesia about to find the Congo. Who went warrior. So they went scout. Where is, what are they missing? They must have another scout somewhere. They have warrior and they want scout. And now they're on set there. I don't know. They did jump across the river and step on the 2-2 for the 2-2 uh, center. Oh, you're right. They didn't find them. That's you're right. My apologies. Very good point. That's right. Because it's I gotta remember that it's the three on this coast. It's the three guys on this coast and them, and then everybody in the middle. Yeah, I I got it now. Oh yeah, they went monument. There you go. That's what happened. They went monument. They went monument, which is unusual. I don't think I've ever seen that going into monument that early, trying to get through the culture tree early to uh, to push the. Um, the early, well, whatchamacallit, the early culture tree to give the boosts. Yeah, I forgot it. I, I remember seeing it and then it just popped out of my head. So two cities down, first for Persia, another settler in four. Uh, Moreau on another settler. Canada had the settler buy a settler and a settler. So they like this city up here, which I don't mind actually. There's a lot of hills. 
up in the mountains, some campuses, depending on what they want to do. Some pretty good cities with a little bit of tundra in them, but there's not an amazing tundra. It's, I mean, on a Pangea, it could be worse. Um, although they probably are going to wish they'd had this. <laughs> uh, at, whoa. They let this guy off the hook. Where, where did they go? Why did he not... This guy was standing here, and this guy was standing here, and he let him off the hook. Hmm. So they'll be able to use these scouts to protect here and potentially come and settle down in here. Uh, I would imagine you'd want to settle this or this. Maybe this to get closer. This would be a very difficult settle, but you could settle... Well, yeah, if you settle this, you can get all the way out to these two tiles. Oh, yeah, get Oracle before Canada. Yeah, the very good point. Rushing Oracle as Congo because Congo... I mean, yes, get it before Canada, but also um, because Oracle compounded with Congo's abilities on the great people, right? <clears throat> yeah, they decided not to declare. Maybe I guess Torture, that's what it is, but they totally should have. Kill a scout early? Get the XP on your uh, Okichitao? I mean, that's an easy kill. I, I, that's a very good, easy thing to do. I don't... Wow, by the way, this is looking better and better. Look at this 3-2-2. Look at this! Maze tile. Getting beefed up. And then these... This is a all of a sudden a really good city. Um, so a settle in here to grab these tiles. I would imagine that's where the settler's going. Second city in here is actually looking pretty juicy as well. Not too bad at all. They have two twos here, and this volcano, if it ever goes off, will be nice. If it doesn't, then that city's pretty average. Rome is going to want to spawn out a lot of settlers fairly early with all that space. Back-to-back uh, -back settlers there. Third settlers almost out there. Be curious about the settle here. I don't mind the fissure settle in here plus five campus I like the fissure settle this is, this is really flat to really concern yourself right now I feel uh, how the boats looking the boats are looking real fine whoo baby this should this city should be popping off here real quick uh, that build that early builder is gonna pay dividends uh, they got a settler out another one in three they're going to head up here. You're, you're not going to... See, these are nice. This is really nice, but I don't know if you want to go that far. You could settle this. You have your campus there. You could settle the banana. Liang in that city is uh, going to be bonkers. Solid five fives, yeah. Liang all day. Yeah, he's got some uh, some coaching from Destoria, and I think Tortured even, right? Has spent some time uh, helping him uh, get his game up. Yeah, I, I'm, I am sad that they let this guy go, and now he's going to come in here and harass. Now this settler, now they're going to have to buy something for this settler because they don't have anybody around. You haven't spent much time with him so far? Oh, okay. I, I thought that he had said that he, like he had spent some... I didn't know how long, but he mentioned that he's... Been getting some help. Yeah, this this just makes me sad that they let that guy go over committing war. I just I don't know. Uh, let's check out on pantheons. Anybody else got pantheons going? England, nothing yet. Over here, no pantheons yet. Nobody else with pantheons. Let's check out great people points. Nobody. Uh. Gotten a holy site down. Just want to make sure because I was not paying close attention. No holy site play yet. Settler still on the move. Monument. The settler. Not a lot of great land. This is pretty sparse. Pretty flat. Not a lot of great resources. And they don't want to forward settle their neighbor up here because this is all they got, right? Like, this is. 
Um, Nubia, real good solid SimSiv, but they're not going to want to uh, take away any of this. So they're going to have to settle south into what's not very nice land. These guys are a little pinched for land, i got to say. They can get into the mountains, I suppose. Matterhorn here, I just missed that earlier. Uh, gonna settle the marsh, pick up the 4 1, I guess. Some 2 2s up in the mountains. I don't know. Yeah, they will be able to settle coast because England will protect their coast. Assuming England will, um, assuming England will be okay when they, uh, You know, if Cree can put pressure on England, they may not be able to do all that much, but certainly won't have to worry about uh, the coast. Oh, there's uh, Heilong Bay as well. Um, That's a big ocean. What is it, 25 on the ocean? Or 30, 30 on the ocean, right? 15 and 30, yeah. 5, 10, 15. 15, 20, 25. I think it's 29. From right in here, it's 29. I don't think if you get further down, you could, but like a couple cities in here could definitely get trade routes out to their capital, I think. Down the road, if needed. Looks like everybody has two cities right now. Canada, boom, boom, boom. Oh, except for... Yeah, this was a good call. Very good call. Get your fishing boats up. That's an expensive one to get to, unfortunately. But I might actually... Con I'll be honest with you. I would probably settle the, the uh, copper here. To bring this in closer. Make it cheaper to buy these two. And not worry about the fresh water. Because the fishing boats and the harbor and stuff are going to get you there. Uh, with uh, housing anyway. Right? That I think that the copper is the settle. You get the gold in the capital... Or in the capital, in the center, center. I mean, I don't, I don't hate this. It's, it's a two, 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 two base with fresh water, and it reaches this stuff better. But you can still, and you know what? I actually would hundred. Now that I've seen this, I hundred percent settle this. You settle this, and then you settle that. If I had, if I had to, uh... and you save a chop as well. You settle that and save a chop. That would be my thought. Uh, they're going to come down here and probably settle this orange, pick up another fishing boat. Um, what else we got? So they're now up to two cities. Everybody's at two cities uh, except for Nubia, who's at three, and they're popping another settler off. Uh, added some food base to the capital in here. Any surprises? Rome. Settler going north. They're going to want to... I would be settling south. I wouldn't be settling towards the tundra. I'd be going south and forward settling all this. And then back settling all this flatland. Although I guess there is a fair amount of hills here. I'd be definitely moving this way versus that. Uh, the bans? Uh, yeah. China got banned. Uh, Russia got banned. Um, and who else did they ban? And then the other ones were Scythia and um, Shaka. Scythia and Shaka were first round. China, Russia. Japan never got banned or picked. Oh, yes, Maori and Mapuche. Uh, and then in the second half... Yeah, no worries. It's completely new. Why, why uh, see the whole map already? Oh, it's because I'm a caster. I'm I'm broadcasting, so I can see the whole map. I'm not playing the game. Another settler heading to the coast, and they did the fissure settle was the play. I agree with that. I agree with that whole play. Um, the fissure settle get the five campus down. That'll boost their science in a big hurry. Ethiopia was another first round settle or first round ban. Thank you, Griffin Oak. Third settler heading out there. They are actually going to go north and squeeze them off a bit. I don't know where that settle is going to be. Maybe the cattle. I don't know if we want to settle the floodplains. They obviously don't see the niter yet. Um. 
Yeah, just standing around harassing at this point. Galley. I don't know if I like the trader, unless they're going to buy a unit. I don't know if, like, I'd maybe buy a slinger. Otherwise, why are you going trader with him sitting around here right now? I'm not really sure. Uh, you can see the settler coming down to settle right here. I can almost guarantee you they're going to, they could settle, they could settle the coffee. But I'd settle the river right here. Mm, would I? Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Who's the Warren? Nobody's Warring at the moment. Everybody's just having fun. Um, be curious to see if he settles the orange right now or comes to this orange. Be interesting. Um, Pantheons, by the way. Ottawa has gotten City Patron Goddess. Interesting. So first districts will be cheaper. That'll help out on the campus. Uh, no Pantheon. These guys got fertility rights. Love me some fertility rights. Free builder and uh, extra food on stuff like that. Rome is got a warm plunder, so they'll be able to counter a little bit the um, the Congo things. Craftsmen, so they denied they denied war and plunder from uh, London as well. That was most likely a denial play, I would imagine, not letting London or England, sorry, get um, war and plunder uh, and being stuck with craftsmen instead. Elite built two galleys for city strength. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, it, it helps some, I guess. But, I mean, I don't know why he keeps going trader here. I don't know why Elite would want trader here. I mean, because if the trader is going to get pillaged if he doesn't have a unit to protect it. Like, if he doesn't have these off his doorstep, right? Like, they're going to get bullied in the early game by all of these uh, Okichitas. And they're going to get forward settled and they're going to have nothing left. Assuming, assuming that Sleepy G has the skills to get that done, uh, which I think he probably will, I hope. Kind of feels like a big war this game is going to be over, how much England is able to get. I can agree with that. Uh, this is the static version, Morden, 16.2, uh, the static version, uh, which will be all of the, uh, all of these CPL play down qualifiers are going to be that. They're heading up to this hill. They're heading up to this hill. I don't think that they're going to want to forward settle Nubia any more than that, though. They really need to. And this isn't great land, but they need to come down here. They can come and settle this wonder. Settle these cities in here. They can get up into this. There's going to be contention. Basically, contention right here. Congo's kind of on the front lines. Uh, which is not a great place for Congo to be. In all honesty. Uh, okay, so the trader's actually going to go in the water, apparently. I'm surprised by that. Because it's a direct line right here. Why Why the trader... Oh, he moved it. It looked like it was in the water right here. Will that... I don't think that'll go in the water, will it? One, two, three, four, five. It's five tiles. One, two, three, four, five. It's seven tiles. I don't think it's going to do that. Canada went down here on the coast. They're right underneath the volcano. Um, they'll be able to get that copper up. That'll be a, a copper mine. It'll be extra resource uh, production. Or production on resource, I should say. On the mine. Um, builder up here to get this city rocking. Campus plus five almost done. Another settler coming. That's going to give them five cities. It was a long trek. They're going back-to-back -back settler right in here. I like that. Getting aggressive on the expansion, knowing you've got space. Uh, seven turn archer. Uh, I don't like that. Give him some gold. Upgrade this slinger. That seven turn archer makes me sad. 
please tell me he's going to switch out to a Gogi here soon. Or I will be very sad. Um, running encampment project. Rome looking to get a general. I would have preferred to see maybe Cree make that play because they're on the front lines. Uh, oh, here we go. This trader's actually going to head to Zanzibar. That ought to be some nice gold income for them. Uh, they've discovered that they've got uh, no access, so they're super sad right now. They don't even have access to come down over here and harass. Getting out settlers every way they can. I don't know. I mean, I like builders, but maybe I'd rather get monuments up, I feel like. and I don't know. Trader going here. Any more pantheons to speak of? Uh, God of Festivals? Eh, I mean, they got the spice, I guess. So it'll be culture, culture, culture. Culture on the cottons. They have a, that's not bad, actually. I mean, late, later on, when you're one of the last people to choose, there's not a lot of good choices, right? So. What do these guys end up with? A uh, hunt. They have a lot of camps around. You no, know, they got deer here in the capital. Pastures. It's a pretty good capital for Cree. Two pastures and a camp. It's not great. Four or five would be obviously a lot better, but it's better than one. Um, so that'll beef up their capital, but that's about it. I don't see a lot. Of, oh, there's one out here, I suppose. Uh, I love this um, fissure settle. Oh, wait. Oh, I don't love it anymore. That's too bad. This was probably the right, this was the, this was the right settle anyway, but it just, it interfered with that. <clears throat> Mecca Wap heaven, baby. Um, Bromsey, how you doing? Good to see you, buddy. Yeah, I don't understand that either, LaFamba. I don't understand the free sim Rome. They they have no neighbors. They know they have... I mean, they've explored. They know where they've got mountains. I, I don't get it. They know they have mountains. They know they have city-states blocking this path. They have Cong They know Congo's on their team. So they've explored this whole middle of the map. They know that this is all theirs. This is They know for a fact that this is all theirs. And they're, they've built an encampment and gone general. I don't get it. Like they're they're gonna have to travel by the time they travel units anywhere the ge the general will be obsolete. I don't get it. I could have I could have seen the play out of Cree, get a general, and smash the coast. I could absolutely have seen that play. Slinger up finally here to stop the harassment. I could have seen Cree doing it. I, could, I don't I don't understand. Like Rome should be just spamming settlers and just destroying the culture tree right now. Why they why they spent time getting an encampment up and did a, and doing projects? I mean I just don't get it. Uh, still nobody made a play on a uh, on a profit. Uh, Rome's and then the, and they also they're the only one. They haven't even. There's not even anybody else making points, and they're doing a project. Yeah, like Cree doing that. I love it. I love the play if Cree's doing it. I mean, maybe the like let Rome free sim. Let Cree put the pressure on. Look at this space for Rome. I mean, it's grassland gang, but there's a ton of hills. I mean, there's a ton of gorgeous land in here because of all these hills. Yeah, he could have had a couple of extra cities. By the time you build that encampment and do the project, he could have had at least another settler and a half. I think it's okay because the War of Plunder, he will passively get a GG because no one else is going for them. I mean, God of War and Plunder it will stack for him, no problem. 
I get what you're saying, but where is he going? Where is he taking the general? All the way over here? 35, 40 tiles away? Yeah, like for me, this is this is Ancestral Hall, Magnus, Chop Out Settlers, Spam Settlers Everywhere, Free Builders, and just, I mean, you can forward settle the crap out of these guys because they're your friends. You could get all the way down to here. Maybe, maybe uh, Indonesia takes one or two of these good cities. Like there's some really nice cities in here and in here. But and like maybe maybe three cities there. They got a couple more here, a couple more here. But I mean, really, they have all the way to here. He does have the governor plaza. He didn't even build it in the capital, though. He didn't have the population. Uh, let's take a quick look here at yields specifically. Culture out of Victoria. Also, what turn is it? We have three turns on Golden Age. Let's take a look at that. That's kind of the biggie thing. Uh, Golden Age uh, for days out of Guitarja. Rome, Free Sim Rome, needs three points in three turns to get their Golden Age. Or he's a normal age gamer. Um, Sleepy G is going to walk to it easy. Congo is in trouble. And we have Golden Ages across the board. Over here in uh, in Famland. So a little bit of trouble there potentially. Bunch of normal age Andes, right? Normal age gamers for days. What's everybody writing here? So just writing in here now. Um, one, two. So political philosophy here. So we're going to be getting into governments. Uh, now Rome is almost at political philosophy. So that'll actually get them their golden age. Uh, their culture has been just good enough that they'll hit political philosophy. That'll get them their golden age. Uh, and they're actually pushing drama and poetry here in the Congo. Um, I have to imagine that they haven't done political philosophy yet. Uh, state workforce there. So these guys are a little bit further behind. But I would imagine at this point it looks like with two turns to go... Yeah, they've hit it already, actually. They did something to get there. Oh, yes, because they finished it. It's registered as finished, I think. That's why. Be interesting to see what happens here. Because it'll be hard. Yeah, this will probably belong to Indonesia here. It'll be hard to get pressure because Congo can kind of protect this land. And I don't think Canada is going to get up that way and fight for that. Um, Temple of Artemis play. Where did they put it? In here. Not too bad. It's not a great Temple of Artemis, though, to be honest. But they're building it. Rome spawn is very strong. I, I don't agree with the encampment play, but I absolutely love protecting the trade route here. Uh, I absolutely love their land. They're absolutely just for days if they if they take advantage of it. Um, I don't see a lot of opportunity for war other than this. I feel like this is hard pressure for war here, but I don't see how these... Oh, sorry. I don't see how these guys can go to war. Like, I mean, they have to come through these mountains, a lot of chokes. They're getting archers up to defend. Probably slowed them down quite a bit. They're going to get a builder in here to get their horses online. But really, at this point, Congo probably wanted to sim, and now they're like, hey, Congo, you're the front lines. You have to live so that Rome can flourish. <laughs> and they should have no problem doing such uh, such a thing. Uh, settle the die probably and then maybe settle this die as well either that or you just settle here but I don't know if I like that I'd rather settle the die I think got two twos for days Uh, two more settlers in one turn that'll be Cree uh, do I really 
Settler in six. England built four, five galleys. England built five galleys to protect seas that don't need protecting. Yeah, elite is like get your settlers out, settle there, settle your coasts. You probably want to put a couple cities up in here even to help protect, like so that your front line isn't this. Like, I I don't know. You want to get a city like maybe even here across the river. Make them come through all this, all these hills and stuff. Step onto the marsh, like protect England a little bit, or protect London a bit. This this feels yeah. England England is I mean it's early to call somebody a rel, but they yeah these scout like look this is just brutal. They these scouts have been trolling them for days. It is going to take them. 10 or 15 turns just to get this off of their ass. You know what I mean? Like, it's going to take forever to get this off you just to get settlers out while these guys are spamming their settlers out. Wait, this was one turn away and now it's two. What happened? Did they switch off of it? They must have switched off of it. They're heading to that die, I'm sure. Oh, he has to know. Yeah, it's it's obvious. He must have come down here by now. In fact, there's a there's a scout right now. They he, everybody knows it's blocked. Yeah. I mean, he built a couple early before he may not have known, but he's known for a while, and he's got five galleys right now, and he's just paying. For, and the other thing is, he's paying gold for those bad boys too. He's paying gold for the. I mean, I, he should delete them. Is what he should do. He should delete two of those galleys at least, if not three. He's not going to need them for any... Like, I mean, it's just he's just paying gold for them. Farm that up. Let's see what everybody else is doing here. Uh, builders are on point in Nubia, which I like to see. I don't see any pyramids up yet, though. There might be a pyramid coming in there. Do I not, am I wrong? I don't see pyramids. They have a settler going here. I'd like to do them to get, and I don't like this either. I mean, they. I mean, they're making choices as a team, I guess, and they're going to settle the coast. But why? Like Persia can get into the hip, should have gotten into the mountains earlier here, and they can settle to the coast this way, and they can settle south on Canada, because Canada, you know, the Canada can get up in here. They can get us something kind of garbage there. They can get some coastal here maybe get into here but i don't know they're really tight on space i would have i might have remapped england all by themselves on a coast with no help plus three sieves sandwiched on the other coast they had to figure that the other guys had lots of space i think i had a remapped i don't know I think they're going to wish they had. Uh, looks like they might... Oh, no, they can't. They have to jump across. Maybe they go to here? Grab the horses. Volcano tiles, potentially. Look at this bad boy right here. Wowzers. I might want to settle that, to be honest with you. Work that 3-3 three, three spice under the volcano. Sheer arrogance. <laughs> Persian scout roaming around. How wide? Okay, so getting harbors up. Another settler coming, thankfully. I was going to say, if they're getting... If they've only got three cities and they're concentrating on harbors only right now. Uh, still no play on a religion. I mean, you can get a free religion for days in here. Even, um, I'd be, I mean, we could take a look, see if anybody's building Stonehenge. Uh, merchants, Canada Online. Scientists, Canada Online. Nobody else. Uh, England making plays for 
admirals that aren't really going to matter. Like, literally not even going to matter in this game. Admirals are going to make absolutely no difference because the only people that they can attack with their admirals is their only teammates. So, Irrel England, it feels like a little bit. They need to get wide and start doing things better than that. Uh, the general's starting to get consumed by... Um, nobody's even making a play. Like, nobody's even making a play on generals right now. <laughs> Nobody has made a play on a general other than Rome. They're just freezing in generals right now. Just absolutely gross. Settlers popping in Rome. Thank God. Another one up here. Ancestral Hall. Also love to see that. When these guys settle, free builders for days. Going to settle the orange under the volcano. I love that. Uh, jumping out here. Not a great city to be had out here. But I love this. He might actually... He might actually... I wouldn't be surprised. Settle that 3-2. Uh, you can kind of district in this direction and just eat up this. This is a Liang city right here. <clears throat> this is your Liang city right here. Settle the 3-2. Throw Liang in there. Bob Drunkle. Uh, finally getting some defenses in here. Warrior, Archer, Warrior. Finally fighting for it. Getting a uh, Settler out there. Builder... Running for his life. Uh, they could take Zanzibar. If they hurry, they can take Zanzibar with those galleys. They're not going to want to take Auckland. Auckland in the game. They could actually pocket Auckland. Oh, no, no, no. Because these guys know about him. So they know about Auckland. Um, yeah, they know about Auckland. Uh, they're going to fight for it. They'll be fighting for it. Elite's got Auckland right now, but you can bet that... Um, that Indonesia's going to have a say about that. But um, why he has... The other thing, too, is why not take these galleys down here and kill Zanzibar? They're trading with them at the moment, but, I mean, that's another city. Put a city in between, a couple cities on these rivers. I, I think you got to take those galleys and kill Zanzibar right now, don't you? Would that not be a play? I feel like that would be the play. Um, probably... Who would benefit the most from... Nobody's gone religion at all, so you, maybe maybe Creek comes down here and kills Leventa and just absolutely destroys this land... I mean, this is just free... Just imagine being GG right now and having Cree in Rome on massive pieces of land to free sim right beside one another. While these guys are over here, and you can already see it on the mini-map, these two are fighting for, for land. They're fighting one another for land over here. Just, yeah, nobody's even made a play. Like Canada can make a play on a religion real quick. I haven't even seen. I've been looking, but I haven't seen Stonehenge up. Nobody's even trying to get Stonehenge. I mean, you could just. I mean, you could just get like uh, choral music and throw up a few bonus. You know, get some get some faith culture synergy going for a monumentality run. I mean, I mean, there's not even really a monumentality sieve in the game. Like Canada could play, make a play on a monumentality run. They got a couple more settlers coming. Oh, by the way, we haven't checked on Golden Ages. Uh, everybody got one, I assume, right? Or maybe these guys didn't. Oh, they did, and they got pen brush, pen brush, pen brush, and uh, no surprise here. He got up his. Uh, uh, he's getting up his harbors and take that adjacency, turn it into science. And you can see here he's leading in science there. Uh, other than Canada, of course, who has that plus five campus. Uh, pen brush, pen brush, pen brush. And then, of course, England's getting theirs up. So really, it's six pen brushes and then the two monumentality you have harbor sieves. It's really interesting. Really interesting. I don't think I remember casting a game yet where... Absolutely nobody's running a monumentality type faith sieve. Nobody's going religion. Nobody's doing any of that shenanigans. It's crazy. 
Oh, by the way, uh, Paris Sergio, did I catch you? I don't, that follow didn't pop up, I don't think. I just looked over and saw that 32 minutes ago. So thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Oh, man. I love me a monumentality sieve. Like, even I love a, a free sim Georgia, especially now that they, get, they just got buffed to four faith on their walls. Give me some Georgia all day long and just give me some land and let me just free sim that shiz, you know? Yeah, you don't need the faith for uh, national parks is a, absolutely a big part of it. I, I agree with that. Settler, settler, settler. They're going to be eight wide here very soon. Um, maybe what's possible is they might be looking at Canada as their victory condition. And Automation definitely knows what he's doing. So he's going to be able to run that out. And so the reason why Persia might be forward settling this way is they're thinking, okay, Nubia, you get your seven or eight cities here. Persia, you get your seven or eight cities here and then just give all of this to Canada for um, for victory condition. And just, so you just have tons of space to throw national parks up. As long as they can protect Canada, then you still need a victory condition on GG's side. Even if, even if England's a rel, how do you beat Canada culture Civ? How do you beat Canada right there? I don't know how you do. And it'll all come back, and we were listening in at the beginning, it'll all come back to the beginning of the game. When, uh, or sorry, beginning of the, when they were doing the um, the banning and drafting. And in GG's chat, somebody brought up Canada as their first pick, and then somebody else said, no, we'll pick our culture sieve last. And then somebody, and then they were running out of time, and they're just like, somebody pick, somebody pick. And so it's like, give me Rome, give me Rome, give me Rome. And then two seconds later, after Rome was picked, Canada got picked. And with China and Russia, the two civs that have the ability to counter Canada's culture game, had already been banned. That was bad news. Uh, so and they, now it's not over because like Rome, if Rome can get 25 wide here and, and spam theater squares, they can defend that. But I don't know. I don't know if you're going to be able to get big enough to climb over here and dominate. I don't see a science victory in play. I I feel like victory condition winner right now is still Canada. Seems like GG uh, has been over uh, out drafted. The Victoria and Canada definitely win over Indo and. The, in Congo. I, I agree that um, there was a bit of an outdrafting. Uh, I believe Canada was the best pick in the match and it went after GG had already gotten a pick. Diplo, if they knock out England, is a possibility, but they're going to have to defend culture, which is going to mean Rome getting unbelievably wide, building theater squares, and denying culture as hard as he can. That's going to be a really big part of it. Um, Victoria would have been a lot better off if uh, they didn't they're not really relevant. They don't have land. They're under severe pressure. Here come the horses. I I mean, England, yeah, they got out drafted maybe a little bit, but they're not getting outplayed right now anyway. They're building a... No, they're not. They're not building... Oh, my God, they're building a barracks. Oh, I'm going to have to talk to Gramps. I mean, he should, he should just have the settler card in. He's got Ancestral Hall built. He's got land for days. Every city should be building a settler right now. I mean, they don't even need gold that much. Three commercial hubs? four, com Five commercial hubs online. I mean, yes, they have pen brush. They need to get some districts built. But they should have the settler card in, and it should be a settler in every city. Just go. get. You got six cities? Make it 12. Boom. 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 Get super wide and be the defense. Be the defense to Canada. Congo could make a play on it. They did push. I'd be curious to see what's going on. They're making a play on Oracle, which we kind of thought about with the early monument. Um, they could make a play on theater squares here and deny as well. Um, they've actually got two theater squares up. So they're going to be looking to deny as well, but they're going to be under pressure. They're going to be on the front lines. And who's playing Persia? 
Uh, oh, General. He knows what he's doing as well. So Persia's, if they can sim up, they can put pressure. And like they're, they're not going to want to sim out too much on the front lines with four cities. Kusi, thank you for the follow. Welcome aboard. Appreciate you being here. Uh, I am new to the channel. It's a multiplayer game. It is a multiplayer game, yes. And I'm uh, commentating, yeah. Thank you for the answers, guys. Um, and yeah, generally, I, I play a lot of single player. I've played thousands of hours of single player. I have been getting a little bit more into the competitive type multiplayer games and stuff. Oh, this went off. Um, but yeah, you can, you can play it on in both directions. Where's that settler gone? Right down here. Like three cities wide at turn 40 for England feels bad, man. Um, I feel like you got to buy this tile. Somebody give him the money to buy that tile. Oh yeah, on a tourism game, yeah, you you're all yeah, including your enemies. Uh tourism includes both. So making a play to kill Hong Kong, and then maybe run these guys up to put pressure on Rome. Uh this warrior's gonna see something coming. Be interesting. This is a this is a pretty big arsenal. That's nothing but galleys. Rome's on free sim. If they get this through, that could be trouble. If they get all of these, if they take over, well, maybe they don't want to even take over Hong Kong. Maybe they're just going to try and sneak through. But the thing is, is that if they kill that warrior, they're going to know a little bit anyway. Be interesting. Uh, what are you, what are you asking about? Uh, oh no. Yeah. So your teammates, so culture basically is culture creates tourism. Tourism generates a culture victory and tourism is essentially drawing citizens from all other civilizations to yours. So if you go in here to the victory screen and go like this, you can see here, this is like the number of, so six or seven, this is the number of tourists required. And then this is the defense here. And so what you're trying to do is is get so much tourism from your culture and from your, like, anything from wonders, great people, national parks, great works, all those kinds of things, to get people come to your land over staying in yours. So the defense to other people's tourism is your culture. Having really high culture, fighting for other great people and keeping them out of the hands... But having really great culture keeps people from leaving your land and going to theirs. So the defense to somebody creating a ton of tourism is for you to have a lot and lot of culture. Uh, for instance, by building theater squares like these guys are. Build theater squares, fight for great people, and defend it. The problem will be, like, I mean, he could even come down from the south. He could just bring these guys south. Like, this, this could be, this could be a surprise attack here. He could just bring these guys straight south through these mountains and and just light this up agathy how you doing normcast indeed josh with some biddies thank you josh thank you for the biddies no they don't uh you draw tourists from your teammates as well but your culture is not defended, as you could just see there. You could just see it there. Everybody shares. These guys share, and these guys share their numbers. So. Oh, there's a quadrum. So this guy's probably dead, unless he gets him out of there. This guy will be dead. Um, yeah, I was just going to say... Bring in some horses and take down Laventa. The horse, the archers are going to be annoying, but as long as they don't have swordsmen or walls, they should be able to handle that. Kevin Curry, have a good one, buddy. Thanks for hanging out. 
We'll see you tomorrow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cities. Commercial hubs going down. It'll help their culture. Once those commercial hubs are actually built, that'll help their culture and get them moving. They already have 34 uh, because of their um, golden age, obviously, with pen brush and their gold output. They're just going to have a, like, they're just going straight hard commercial hubs right now. Seven wide's not bad. I would, I mean, I guess they'll just pivot back to settlers after the commercial hubs are done. I don't know if I'd go this hard after commercial hubs, to be honest with you. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so here comes Canada forward settling. So they're, that's their play. The, their play is 100%. Um, to uh, give all the land to Canada and uh, go for a culture victory. I think Congo's in trouble. They they sense it. The walls are going up. They need to get the limes card in. I don't even think that they're going to have the limes card yet, if I had to guess. Uh, recorded history. They would have had to go in top tree in there, and they did not. I can't imagine they have it yet. We could check real quick. And hope not to... Oh, shoot. You know what? Let me wait till next turn. Free cavalry unit. Won't hurt them. Uh, some XP... I think that Congo could be in some serious trouble. Although they're they're sp currently they're taking Hong Kong out, um, which is a fine play. But this if these units come south, they're in a lot of trouble. Yeah, the the ban phase was uh, an hour and twenty minutes ago. So if you open up the VOD and go back an hour and twenty minutes. Well, maybe not be that. Maybe an hour, ten minutes ago, something like that. Uh, you'll see the occasion where they're banning stuff. Basically, each team bans six, or each team bans three sieves. Then each team picks two sieves. Then each team bans two more sieves, and then each team uh, picks two sieves. Oh, sorry, Gramps is down here. Um, he's, uh, he's got his harbors up running a really nice, um, free inquiry 28 science. The only one beating that is, uh, is Canada who has a plus five campus in here. And, uh, so you can see them, they've, they've got, uh, Artemis, they've pumped out theater squares. Uh, they have a really actually quite effective government plaza going on right there. Canada's looking real, real solid, being played quite well right now. Um, okay, so no pressure there yet. Be curious to see what they're going to do there. Uh... I don't, sorry, you're going to have to, I'm not sure. Chat's flying by and I'm not, there's conversations going on between people and I'm not sure. Uh, looks like Rome wants to take Hunza, which I like that for sure. Archers are almost dead. No walls. Uh, Legion push should be very successful with all those farms, especially. Commercial hubs are getting down. Their culture is going to spike. I hope that they get that settler card in as the only thing. Uh, that would be Hong Kong's death. Uh, it's a really nice city. Three, two, two, three. Lots of hills. They'll find some campuses in there. It'll buy them some space. Gives them a forward operating position. These guys are going to heal up and head south. I can guarantee it. And these guys are going to... Like, they're building Settler. They're going to wish that they were building walls in this city. They need to get Limes card in. Walls, walls and get a gogi in and spam their unique units here and just put a wall up and just try to protect uh they can back settle a little bit uh this is a gorgeous city but they, they're in trouble right now 
at normulator so you can see exactly who's ignoring uh, i think merchant congo is underrated can be a very strong merchant in gold Sith. oh yeah congo is not bad they because their control of um they're not they're not terrible i wouldn't say that at all um they're not going to be getting great merchants anytime soon with the way that their commercial hubs are being spammed here though uh these guys need to get a great uh, general is what they need they they I just I feel like there's a lot of mistakes made in this in the gameplay by Congo right now. Obviously, there's a way you want to play Congo, but there's also a way that you have to play Congo when you find out you're on the front line and you've got two free sims going on behind you. And the way is to get great generals. Uh, why Rome built an encampment and a barracks and run a project to hog the generals when a general is needed uh, on the front lines. It should have been uh, two encampments and running projects and getting an early general and spamming units and defending the front line. Get five or six cities, but then just defend this front line, protect Indonesia's free sim for gold, and protect these free sims uh, for a potential victory condition. Uh... Oracle and no districts. Yeah, I just, I, right now, I mean, there's a theater square there, theater square there. It just feels like there wasn't, I, don't, I mean, we, I don't, can't keep track of the cards that they have in when and stuff, but this just feels like it's about to be smashed. This is going to, this land is going to belong to these guys, I think, soon. If, if, if I had to guess by turn 60, all that land belongs to somebody else. Uh, which is going to mean Rome has to protect this now. Uh, they'll have to protect this. It'll be a less of a free sim. Uh, I'd also like to see a little bit more pressure out of Cree, who's still at only at five cities. What are they building? Warlord's Throne. I mean, there's only three cities to take over, period, even if they did it. I don't know about Warlord's Throne. Uh, Leventa is gone, as we knew. Uh, do these guys even have, I don't even think, there's not even a city-state for them to take. They could come up here and take Fez, and then settle in here. Uh, slowly, there you go, I was just gonna say, Huns is now theirs, now they're eight wide. But like I said, Rome's gonna have doorsteps problems in a while. He needs a general desperately. He needs a general. He needs walls, lines like this settler. Like he might, like I mean, it's it's good that he's got this archer here, because if this archer needs to see this, this settler needs to turn off. He needs the he needs limes. Does he even have the card yet? I was gonna go check. A minute left. Let's go take a look real quick at his culture tree. He doesn't. He's gone south. He's gone bottom side for recorded history. Still doesn't have a campus. I mean, I get the I get the drama and poetry, but he needed to get up here to get limes. Uh, I hope he's working. Oh, uh, he is working this, so he's three turns from limes, but he needs the he needs these walls up. Okay, now he switched here. Uh, can I see his cards? Uh, he's got settler card in because he was building one settler. And he's got Corvée in because he was building one wonder. First on by counts is two in. Looking to get the Raiders. I hope I hope next turn those change dramatically. Yeah, he didn't even go oligarchy. I mean, he knows he's on the front lines. How do you not go oligarchy? This this archer is about to be dead. The walls are still far away. Like he's He's in a lot of trouble, guys. Yeah, he sees this. He'll see this coming now. This is going to be too late. I said, I said, turn sixty. This belongs to other people. Um, this will be belonging to uh, other people. Maybe by turn fifty-five. At least he has a writer. <laughs> yeah, he has a great writer, but he's an oligarchy. Yeah. I this, he's gonna want to review his gameplay for sure, because uh, it's just it's just simple math. You you see where everybody is, right? You see three guys on this side and three guys on this side. 
These three are on the other team. These three are on your team, and you're in the middle. That's that's the definition of the front lines. Get your encampments. Get a get a general. Get to limes. Build your walls. Put a gogi on. Spam units, and then sprint to crossbows. Except when it's not. Yeah. So the big key is though is that. England is a rel at this point. Uh, although they're getting archers out to protect their land. They've got three cities. They still haven't even flinched at Zanzibar. They've got... They have six... They had five galleys before. Now they have six galleys and a quadram. Yet no interest in taking Zanzibar out to get to four cities, maybe? Is that a thought? I, that's my thought. I don't want to be an asshole. These guys are all probably going to watch the VOD of this later and they'd be like why is this guy being an asshole but he got three cities turn 47 it doesn't feel good man so this is going to help a little bit probably get you to walls um I have no words. So he saw that he needed to change his cards. He kept the settler card in and put in the builder card. Still no Agogi. And he still has the writer card in. And still has first on my counts as two. This card should only ever be in like three or four times during the game. And it should be in for like one or two turns and then back out. Like the, the 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 archer that was up here is now dead. Um like this like now he's switch He put two turns in <laughs> he put two turns into the unique unit and then he's like, Oh maybe we should build walls. <laughs> it's still no oligarchy. Exactly, Dats. It's still no oligarchy. He needs oligarchy so bad. He needs to be working better cards so bad. I feel and there's so there um there's a settle on the wonder uh, that we would see coming. He's got a warrior out to defend this section here, but he's going to be in a lot of trouble once this falls. Uh, this won't be far behind, and I don't know if he really has a plan to stop it. He's kind of free simming, right? Like he needs to be told. Is he not being told? Government Plaza Colossus. Government Plaza, Colossus, and Great Lighthouse. I don't think he's been told that this and this is on the way. These, these walls are going to be four turns too late. You can see that theater square is going to get pillaged. This, this is, yeah. Well, they've got the horses are kind of injured. So if he can get the limes card in, if he can get the limes card in. Next turn, he has limes. He needs to go oligarchy, limes, agogi, uh, reduce cost by one. Oh, no, he wouldn't do that because he'd been agogi. Yeah, yeah. Minus one cost for units. Uh, minus one gold cost for units. Oh, no, he can't. I just said that. Agogi, yeah, sorry. Agogi and Limes and some sort of goal-making card and and just, yeah. Jump in Gramps chat. Yeah, Gramps, they're on the way, bud. Like, he needs to be told. Like, he's got to have been, he's got to be like, they're coming. Because he knows if these guys fall, he's next, right? And, I mean, it's going to be great to have Colossus and Grey Lighthouse in, in very few turns, but a uh, bit of a push coming here. Not enough units to block it. The big key will be... See, this they're protecting their capital, at least. But if Cree can keep simming and keep pressure on them to not expand, it's it'll be kind of a 3v3 situation. Oops. 
it'll be kind of a 3v3 situation only if Gramps can defend this. If, if they keep rolling straight through, I mean, if, they're not going to be able to necessarily push this because they're too strong. They're, they're way too strong. Gramps is going to have the science. Gramps has got the science for days. He's going to have the units. He's going to have the tech to get the units going. But this city is toast. The walls in four is going to probably be too late. He needs to get some archers out now. Still not in a gogi. Okay, he could have. He still has a chance to change it, though. He could still potentially change it right now, but he's probably shitting his pants. And uh, searching, <laughs> searching for a uh, clean pair of underwear. He has a minute to get a gogi in. Limes. Because if he gets limes in, these walls are done in two turns. And I, I think he's probably okay. If he gets... Yeah. Still building... Like, this should not be a trader right now. Archer in four. If a gogi goes in, that's in two. Yeah, he's got his unit. Like, if he can get one of these inside the city with walls, he could be okay for a while. At least... Hey, look at this. Forward settle coming with the settler. I love it. That's fantastic play. Settle's next turn right here, probably. Um, an encampment going down they'll be working towards a general an encampment going down here they're looking to get a general as well so the free sim is over the war is on and the generals are coming <clears throat> yeah if they could put the gold together they could buy it for him he'd have to step the archer out and buy it but he needs the limes card in we'll see next turn if he puts it in If he could ever get that builder this tree, he could chop out those woods. I think that might be the plan, too. Okay, so he has put it in. Limes is in. He needs this unit to get up here. He needs that unit there. This is decent, but those horses are going to double team it. This is not good. Although they're going to want to focus. They don't focus their fire here instead of there, I suppose. Uh, let's see what he's done. Uh, yeah, like he, he could, he's got pop seven. He could go encampment and try to get a general up. The problem is is that um, Rome has war and plunder plus an encampment plus a barracks. So he's already crushing great people point or great general points. I'm not crushing them, but he has three. So he's eating up generals. In fact, he's going to have all of the first three generals. No. It's over. The city's gone. Limes would have saved this city, I think. Limes might have saved this city. Limes plus uh, one of their uh, unique units here. Oh my god. If Rome passes, John or Kong gets one cheaper. Yeah, if they had it up. The problem is... Uh, here's the problem. Encampment. Encampment. And that looks like an encampment as well. Oh, that's a commercial hub. So he's, he's already getting beat to them by these guys. Deny Oracle, get zero value and die. Yeah. Yeah, there it goes. There it goes. And walls in two. Still not an oligarchy. Still has production towards settler and builder cards in. Still has great writer card in. First, still has first envoy counts as two in.
Did he put it inside the city? Did he put a unit inside the city? I missed it. Oh, it was dead. There was no, I had no chance of surviving. There was like with all these archers, there was going to die either way. He just sacrificed a unit for nothing. It was this unique, yeah, because he was. I, I was just. I did, he was standing here, right, and he ran right through the archer and into the city. I just missed the actual occurrence of it. Uh, like, uh, Gramps is neat. He needs to change direction. He's already got fifty-three science. He doesn't need campuses. I know you're watching Gramps. Not right now, but you're going to be watching the VOD. Um, you know that this is happening. And you know you're right here. Um, the harbors need to stop. The consulate needs to stop. The settler needs to stop. You don't need science right now. You're first in the game in science. Uh, you need to uh, get a barracks, get a general. Or get a, an encampment, get a general. And you need to... Start spamming archers and rush crossbows. That's what he needs to be doing. England's only got three cities, but they've spammed enough units to keep Kree at bay. Kree is chosen. Looks like they might be doing a little bit of a night rush preparation. Another one here, another one here. I think they're they're prepping a night rush. What's England's science? 61. Oh, yes, because they're on free inquiry, so they're going to be able to defend with crossbows. They're, they're, they're going to get knights up, and they're going to smash their heads into crossbows. Uh, so that's probably not going to be all that effective since they're running free inquiry. Uh, by the way, Golden Age and 4, we should check era. Uh, da, 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 da. England is not going to hit their golden, so they'll, they'll lose a lot of that science. Uh, goldens for everybody else except for maybe Canada. They're going to need to get to work. Uh, that's irrelevant now. Uh, Guitar's just going to be back into golden. And these guys are going to need to get to work. This, this, I mean, he's he needs to fight hard. Like, he can get walls up. He's got horses coming. Uh, if he can get some horses, he can flank around and kill these archers. And then, uh, although his unique unit is barely going to get touched by these Batati archers. So that's not too bad. Um, Yeah, like this, they've raised the city, actually, because they know they couldn't handle it. And they probably can't push. They weren't ready to push. Rome trying to save the day. Yeah, they have some legions on the way. Moth in here. They have some legions on the way, which could help them save the day a little bit. That's a good. That was a good call. Bring them. You got nowhere else to put them. Maybe I might as well send them in here. Um, they're probably not going to be able to push through this though, but they'll at least be able to try and fight the wall. I, I guess. I mean, with the walls up, if they feel like they can hold it a little longer, then Gramps is fine. He really wants to push that science hard. He's got some good campuses. Well, that's, that one's there. What is this one? That's got that and the wall. So that's not bad either. So he had good campuses he wanted to get up. I don't blame him. I'm not sure if I'd be going consulate this early, though. That feels like... Eh, I don't know. 17 turn harbor. Some good tiles. Pop two. Oh, could the culture's making him expand his borders? I'm like, why did you buy these tiles at pop two? But the the culture's just making those borders expand. We haven't looked at Canada in a while. Um, they stopped getting wide as well. They they threw down commercial hubs. Getting up at Donna. Theater Square. Getting trade. They got commercial hubs up in a lot of places to get trade routes going. That'll help their free or their uh, pen brush uh, game as well. Assuming they go back to pen brush. Actually, they could go. They with all these commercial hubs up, they can go free inquiry now. Three turns. 
They might go into free inquiry instead. Uh, assuming they get it. Uh, he might not get it. Is he going to get Apadana done? He will get Apadana in time. Ooh, he has to actually... Oh, wait a minute. Okay. He needs to chop that. He needs to chop something to finish Apadana in time. And he can get it. Otherwise... GG's on your golden age. Uh, you're there. You're not there. Rome needs one more point. One tile choke to bring these guys through. Oh, now they've turned around. Did they turn around? Why did you turn around? Defend these chokes. Yeah. Like, that's what I've been saying, Agathy. Like, Rome is on crazy free sim with all kinds of land behind mountains. Even Cree had tons of space over here with England rallying themselves with all those galleys and three cities. I mean, at this point, they're, I think they're just going to spam units and make sure they don't die. Like I said, this night rush is just going to probably run into crossbows. He didn't turn around, he built more. He had... Did he? I thought he had three right in here. He had three legions at one point here, didn't he? And then I like, I thought maybe these ones turned around. Because, yeah, he needs to bring all these guys in here and just... Yeah, they're, they're, they're actually retreating. Archers and walls are up. They don't have... They'll have to come back with more. Catapult being built. Catapult built. They're getting ready to go against the walls. But if he can get these legions out uh, and kind of defend this flank... This pouring through these floodplains will be cancerous to his units. Oh, there's Montreal. Seb, you in there, buddy? Where are you, Seb? Oh, that's a possibility. If they were on auto move and this horse was standing here, they might have been like, oh, we can't get through that way. That's going other way. Yeah, yeah. Not that many. Yeah, not big ones anyway. There's one pretty good sized one, but that's about it. He's getting so he's so you can see this is the play, right? You have free inquiry and you're about to lose it. What do you do? You build campuses and get your libraries up to replace the science you're going to lose. Uh, he got a decent one there. He got a couple decent ones there. One on the government plaza. So that's not terrible. Going to need another district here to, to boost that. But Oh, actually. Oh my god. That's a reef. Dude. Those are both plus fours. And then obviously... Five. This is a plus six right now. And then this is a four and then it'll become a five. I didn't see. I just barely had the corner. But I was like, oh, is that a reef? What? Uh, by the way, England must control Auckland right now. Yeah. Elites controlling that. They're going to put everything they have into it. Um, I really feel like that would be something that Gramps needs to try and focus on is making sure he can control. Because could you imagine these tiles with, with uh, Auckland? Just imagine like, another production and all these tiles. Cree can go raise it if they wanted to. They could raise it. But I would want to control it with, to be honest with you. Yeah, those, to be honest with you, I would want to control Auckland. You throw Kampungs on some of these tiles? Like, look at this Kampung. Look at this Kampung and this Kampung. And this one. Look at these Kampungs. You throw you throw Auckland and... Um, and, like, these cities are going to be crazy. Uh, 
they are struggling on culture at the moment, but they, yeah. This science is good. England's science is about to die. Next turn. Did they get... Did they get... They, Apadana's done, so they, they chopped it out. Yep, he got a builder up here to chop that tree. Get Apadana done. And that's your golden age. I might, it might be too late. I might switch to era. There we go. Yeah. There's his golden age. Uh, dark age. Mist. Got it. Got it. Mist. Got it. Got it. Got it. So they actually have three of them in here. Three golden ages to two. Um... So, not bad at all. We'll take a look at what they got. Uh, Dark Age. Um, oh, they haven't selected yet. We'll wait a minute until they select. I'm curious why the players are not letting cities get max tile growth. Why must... Well, Auckland provides production on sea tiles. And so they want to provide production to their coasts. But it's even more valuable for their enemy over here which is indonesia because they have a lot more sea tiles and they if they can figure out a way to control them it's going to be huge i'm not sure why players are not letting cities get max tile growth i don't mean by max tile growth yeah so they're continuing up through here uh their horse or their horse got patatied it looks like they've lost it yeah, you can get them three innings, but you don't get them for free. You grow, you grow to them. Yeah, you grow to them over time. It grows slowly. Your culture, it's actually your culture output that makes them grow. Or you can buy them with gold, but you don't have. I mean, you can't just instantly have them all. You get them for free with culture as time goes on. The more culture you go. Yeah, but you can't just do that for free. I mean, it, they're fifth, turn fifty-seven, right? Like, these guys have pretty good culture, so these guys are getting fairly wide out here, right? But you're not going to just... I mean, this city just got put down. You're not going to have all the tiles. You know, these cities are relatively... New. You can see this city's actually grown their tiles quite quickly because they are working a lot of culture. They're probably working at least one of these tiles with this. They're probably working this and this. Oh, we got a hurricane. Look at that. Pop 14. So, uh, Agatha, you might be there. I don't know how to vote on this because I'm the only ca the only caster. Uh, units chosen promotion. I don't know. Maybe Recon? No, not any cav because if somebody gets cav pushed, I mean it's not going to matter. I'm not going to win. I just I don't want to. And then this is easy. I'll just pick um, synthetic technocracy. It's going to be they're going to vote for something, so I'll just vote against something. And then uh i think i can vote again i can vote for me yeah i'll vote for me to lose points that feels right eh no but i'm so i uh so so you understand moons i'm not playing the game i'm casting the game i'm i'm not a part, I'm not a part of the game. So what I'm trying to do is not have an impact on how the game goes forward. Normally, there a lot of time there's two casters. There's two people that are actually casting the game sometimes. And so they'll do the exact opposite of one another so that they completely offset. But since I'm the only person casting this particular game, I have to try and not impact the overall outcome of the game. So re recon units losing combat strength is not a big deal. They're going to vote for somebody to get combat strength. So the, this is going to win, and it's just going to matter on which one. Um, synthetic technocracy doesn't exist right now, so they're not going to be anywhere near that, so that's fine. 
and they're going to vote for A anyway. And then just for me to lose so that somebody on the other side. Break after vote. Yes, uh, so Sunga, there's a mod. We use a mod called Better Spectator Mod, actually. And uh, it allows me to see all of these stats. It, like, it lets me see their army stats, their era stats, their technologies that they're researching, their basic yields, and their overall scores. It also allows me to individually go into any one of these guys and see what they're doing individually. And yes, I can see the entire map and everything that's happening. And it allows me to just comment on everything that's happening. Uh, what's going on here? Uh, end of turn, please. Uh, it's after two hours and five minutes. Uh, I don't know how the rules work breaks, but we can do, uh, if, this, if you really want to wait five minutes, sure. He needs to take his dog out. Yeah, you, this is obviously a convenient time to take a break. It makes no sense to not take the break here. Um, they're continuing the push here. The one thing that sucks for Rome is that they're coming through a one-tile choke and they're coming at archers. Now, they're they're down to two Patati archers in here. They have more coming, but that's a tough trek. Uh, they have more catapults on the way. They're probably going to want to get bombards and make this push because the catapults are not, they're tough. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, finish vote and pause and then take the break. Yeah. I kind of feel like uh, Rome shouldn't have built much military and come in later. Well, they built they built these uh, legions to take Hunza. Um, oh, nice tiles over here too. They need to get a city up in here. They need they need to get the settler card in. See, like this knight, I don't like this. They need to get the settler card in and, and get eight more cities. They have eight cities right now. They need to put the settler card in and get eight more cities, and and create a victory condition for themselves. So I think they're going to pause now. I'll wait until they pause and then we'll take a look at the, uh, the outcome. So yeah, the, like this, he's got some units up here now. He's got an encampment going. Maybe you can get a general. End of turn, end of turn break. Yeah. Um, so he needs to kind of squeeze through here with some units. 